Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In this video, we are going to solve the questions of figure it out given on page number 40, chapter number 2, lines and angles. First question is, find the degree measures of the following angles using protractor. So we have to take a protractor and place it like this to measure it. This is the center of the protractor and this is the vertex. So we can place it like this and this is our baseline or we can place it like this okay whichever way you want you can just place it so now I'll just place it like this and let's check the measure of this so we see here it's 47 degrees this angle measure is 47 degrees angle I H J is 47 degrees next one again we can place it like this, the protector to measure and the reading always starts from zero. Okay, So if you are taking it like this, start from here, the inner set of numbers, 0, 10, 20 like that. And if you are placing it like this, then again see where the zero is, inner set or outer set. So here we have outer set. So the reading will start from here, 0, 10, 20 like this. Okay, So now let's measure this angle. So this angle measure is approximately 24 degrees. Okay, this angle measure is 24 degrees. Angle I H J is 24 degrees. Next one, we can place it either like this or we can place it like this. This is the center, this is the baseline like this. Okay. So, I will place it like this and this is 110 degrees. This is 110 degrees. You can get it 109 or 110, okay. So, IHJ is 110 degrees. Moving on to question number 2. Find the degree measures of different angles in your classroom using your protector. So you can use your protector to measure the different things in your classroom like your notebook, your textbook, your desk, your tiffin box, your pencil box, whatever you have like different charts maybe you know and you can just find the measure. This is an activity to understand the different types of angles like we have acute, right, obtuse, uh, straight angles or different types of angles okay. Just explore it. Now question number three Find the degree measures for the angles given below. Check if your paper protector can be used here. So if you remember, we made a paper protector, this one. And uh, can we use this to measure these two angles? Okay. Let's check if we can use it. If I place it like this, this is the center. And if I place it like this, extend the lines and then see if you can measure it using your paper protector. Like this you place and this is the center, this is the vertex and then see where is the line coming. So this is 45, so this is something less than 45 I guess, less than 45. So we cannot measure it because only if it is 45, see if I extend it like this, it is coming out somewhere here, right? So we cannot measure it, it has to be either 45, 22.5. And 67.5 so only if these angles are there then we can measure it otherwise we cannot measure it using this particular paper protector if I've labeled everything here then you can do it but then using this we cannot do it similarly you can put it like this extend it and try this is again an activity you can do it so now we'll use our protector to measure this angle start the reading from zero this comes to somewhat 42 degrees this angle measure is 42 degrees and let's measure this now measure start from 0 so 0 10 20 and this is 116 116 degrees okay so this is 42 degrees I got it as 42 and this as 116 degrees Question number 4. How can you find the degree measure of the angle given below using a protractor? 
so we need to find this angle measure here okay we need to find this angle measure now see here this angle is more than 180 degrees so what we need to do is measure the smaller angle measure this angle and then subtract from 360 degrees this whole thing is a complete angle a whole angle so 360 degrees minus the smaller angle will give us this angle which is the reflex angle right so let's measure it it comes to somewhat 102 degrees right so this angle here is 102 degrees okay now we need to find this measure so we will do 360 degrees minus 102 degrees okay complete angle minus this smaller angle so that is 8 5 and this is 2 so the measure of this angle this reflex angle is 258 degrees 258 degrees that is how we find the measure of a reflex angle we measure the smaller angle and then we subtract from 360 degrees so if you would like to practice measuring and drawing more reflex angles there are separate videos made you can find it in the playlist so i have shown you how to draw the reflex angles and also how to measure the reflex angles okay now moving on to question number five Measure and write the degree measures for each of the following angles. So, I have already measured these angles and I will show you how I measured it. Place it like this or the other way also you can do it. And you see here this is 80 degrees. Right? 80 degrees. This one is 120. Let's check if that's 120. Yes, we do see this is 120 degrees measure. This one we can measure like this. This is 60 degrees 60 degrees angle okay. so for this one we can either measure it like this or we can measure it like this so if we place it like this we see that it's 130 degrees right 130 start from 0 and 130 degrees next one this is closer to 130 so this is 120 9 degrees next one this angle here let's measure it 60 degrees 60 degrees right question number six is find the degree measures of angle bxc angle cxc angle axb and angle bxc and we have these angles with the protector placed on top of this so it is placed somewhat like this right so this is how the figure is given now let's see the measurements angle b x e angle b x e so the reading starts from 0 0 and we see here this is 110 120 that means this is 115 degrees angle b x e is 115 degrees angle c x e c x e start from 0 0, 10, 20, 80 and 90. So, this is 85 degrees. Angle C, X, E is 85 degrees. Next is angle A, X, B. A, X, B. So, now the reading will start from 0 here, right? So, that is the outer set of numbers. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 65. So, this angle here is 65 degrees. Angle B, X, C. B, x c okay so this angle here so what we can do we can use subtraction take this big angle which is b x e 115 degrees minus this angle here c x e so that would be 115 minus 85 degrees and that's 30 degrees so let us write the angles here 115 degrees this one is 85 degrees a x b is 65 degrees and to find out BXC, we will subtract BXE, that is 115 degrees, minus CXE, which is 85 degrees. That equals to 30 degrees. Okay, so we have found all the degree measures. Question number 7. Find the degree measures of angle PQR, PQR. 
पी क्यू एस पी पी क्यू एस पी क्यू टी पी क्यू टी ओके सो फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड आउट द एंगल मेजर ऑफ एंगल पी क्यू आर पी क्यू आर इज दिस एंगल हियर प्लेस यू प्रोटेक्टर लाइक दिस and this angle here we see is 45 degrees right this angle measure is 45 degrees now angle next is angle pqs p q s that means this angle here so this angle measure is start from 0 so 0 is the outer set of numbers and this moves to 90 and then 100 okay so this angle measure is 100 degrees and then pqt pqt that means this big angle here this is the amount of rotation starting from here and it moves till here okay so place it like this and we see here starting from 0 outer set of numbers 140 and then 150 this is 150 so angle pqt is 150 degrees 45 degrees 100 degrees and 150 degrees so with this we complete question number 1 through 7 question number 8 is an activity so that is already available in the playlist you can just check the playlist and question number 9 is remaining so that we will do in some other video hope you find this video helpful thank you